Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how you can schedule your notebook or jar file or DBT or uh, there are many other things also. If you want to schedule it and want to run it, run at particular time, then you can use the workflow from, from here. So I will create notebook first and I will, I will tell you how you can run that notebook at particular time. Okay, so let me just create a simple notebook that will just print my name. Hello, Sumit. Okay, it is just printing my name, right? So now what I will do is I will go to the workflow. This is the uh, from here you can just choose the workflow. I don't have any workflow right now. So I will create job. Okay, and in the create job, you can specify the workflow name here. Can give the workflow job name this job name we can like write like test workflow or anything it, it, it should be relevant to your project so test so i'm just testing it test workflow okay or in short we write test wf and here i'll give the name as a um, print name okay and where is my notebook so you can you can give it here type which type of workflow it is so you want to run the submit jar jar dbt python file sql there are many lots of things there okay but what i want to do i want to run it using notebook and this is the work workspace okay if you want if your code is there in uh, if you notebook is there in git then you can give the bit location as well from here but it's fine i will just because my notebook is there in my workspace so I will click here and you can select the path you can just directly give the path or you can click on drag on drop down and I will go to the path from here my notebook is uh, there in uh, my workspace or you can you, you have option for recent you can click on recent so so you will have but in my notebook my notebook is test workflow so I will select here test workflow okay and confirm so that's all so you can choose the cluster from here okay you can choose the cluster from here so that by default what the cluster is i will take i don't want to add parameter but i will add parameter after running this create task so if you see here there is add schedule is there okay there is add schedule there is a git, git location add schedule so if you add here trigger so what time so you can schedule it continuous or file arrive if some file is cam coming then you want to, uh, to run this one so if you write schedule it you can schedule it based on the cron cron syntax okay so what time you want to schedule you can schedule it so this this and all things i know you can easily configure so i will not waste my time here to schedule it i will run manually here so cancel it so i have print i have job print name so what will happen is i will run right now here so if you schedule it from here it will trigger automatically at particular time so but if i run it manually see what happened you can go here the view right now it will prepare the cluster it will make the cluster up and for this it takes some time so i'll pause my video and i will come back again once my cluster is up and will run then i'll come back so you can see this job is succeeded and we have we, we got the output as sumit here so so that's all for this video and you can go back here and you can see the run it is succeeded you can click here and again you can go go to see the result so this is the way you can schedule that uh, any notebook from the workflow so in the in the next video i will tell you how you can pass the parameter